Jenny. How are you? Hello, hello. How's everything today? There you go. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Good evening, How's everything? teacher. Good evening. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Wow, people are coming late today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how's your day? What's good? It was good, but tired and productive. Was tiring. Yes. Yes. All right. Is it is it raining where you're at? Yes, in the afternoon. Raining all the afternoon. So it's been raining all where afternoon. I, where do, yes. Where do you live? In Tecla. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> where do you live? Where do you live? San Miguel. Oh, yeah, that's wow. That's, <laughs> I didn't know that's super far from here. Well, yeah. It's good it's that it's really hot. Well, Yes, it is really hot. That's I, I wouldn't like to live in San Miguel because of that. Because I don't like the, the hot weather. That's crazy. Yeah, and the weather is bad. But, but uh, these days. You know? Mm -hmm. San Miguel is pretty. Good. The beach. The what? Oh, the, the beaches. The beaches. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I've never been to a beach in San Miguel, to be honest with you. Coco uh, is the best. Fish. See, really nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. But um, La Unión, La Unión had mejores, the best, better. the best, uh huh, better. La Unión has, okay, La Unión has better beach, uh, beaches. Beaches, mm -hmm. Okay. The sun is, is white. Oh, you, okay. And you might you think is Caribbean beaches. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow, it's, I have to go wild. there. I have to go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, nice. That's I, I didn't know. You know, usually you know like beaches around here, like if I go to I mean you can go to El Tunco and everything, you know, but I don't like El Tunco. I don't know what's <laughs> good about El Tunco, you know. It's so crowded, sand is black, and you get a lot of stones. And it's dirty, you know, so I don't know what's so good about it, but 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 I do like them, you know, and, and I do like the uh the uh what is it? We got we, well we, we, we got the Pacific, I got the Atlantic side of uh beaches, you know. Mm -hmm. So so uh hey that's good. I didn't know I'm gonna I'm gonna check uh, you need to the know the, the beaches <laughs> in La Union. I need to see them. Um, great. Mm -hmm. great, great, great. David, how are you, David? Everything good? Everything good, yeah. All right. Ingrid, nice to see you. How are you? How was your day? Everything good? Hi. Uh, with a little pain because I am. I vaccinated. <laughs> vaccinated. <laughs> I got my shot. I got my repeat. I got my COVID shot. <laughs> vaccinated. Other <laughs> than me. Yes. Uh, I have a, a shot. Uh, I, I got I got a I got my COVID shot or you can get you can say I got vaccinated vaccinated vaccinated, vaccinated okay. yes all right what do you have it in hi right, she just to that uh Maylin welcome how's everything Maylin I'm good everything good all right Ricardo nice to see you how was your day today Everything good? Fine, fine. Uh, it was raining all the day, but... Dude, now it's not raining. You know, it should be raining right now. 
I I, mm. I really like it when I, I really like it when it rains. I mean, it's a shame you you can't do a lot of things outside, you know, when it's raining. But but uh, I really like the rain, especially at night. You know, okay. it's, it's relaxing, especially if you live in San Miguel, with where it's really hot all the time. All right. What about you, Maria Belen? How's everything? Did you just finish working out or are you going to start working out after class? Sorry? Did you just finish working out or are you going to start working out after class? No, no, no. I finished. <laughs> yes. Are you finished? Yes. All right. Do you exercise every day? Yes. Nice, nice, nice. That's, that's, that's really cool. Have you always been like that or is that something that... that Sorry? Have you always been like that, or is that something that that you've been getting used to? No, it's only when I do. When okay, I mean, have you? What I'm asking is, have you been doing that for a long time now, or or is is it something recent? Es algo reciente o es algo que has estado haciendo? Like for many years now. Mm, I think it's eight years eight ago. Eight years, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. That's great. That's great. I want to get into that habit. I think that's a really, really good habit. Yes. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, very good, guys. So let's get started, guys. We're going to talk about model verbs, okay? All right. <clears throat> So there are three model verbs that we talk about in, in, in the platform, all right? Now, who has an idea of what model verbs are, guys? And by the way, guys, okay, there's someone here who asked me if I had, um, who, who, who is the person who asked me about me delivering classes outside? Like, like so you, some one of you sent me a message wasn't it's just because i don't have your phone uh, it's just, i changed my cell phone so i don't know who sent me that message okay <laughs> was it any of you no 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 who knows no. this all right very good very good anyways guys so uh so what do we know about model verbs what is a model verb who or, or you can give me an example what do you, what do we know it's when you use may called can for uh, for permitted or negative uh, I don't know, a petitions. Okay, it's when you use what? I'm sorry, what what what, what were you using? For permits or non an action. Okay. You need to say can't, cold. You mean could. All right, oh, yes. very good. All right, yes, okay, you're right. Okay, so can, all right, can and, and uh, can and could guys are uh, model verbs, okay? Very good, okay? They help us talk about uh, permission or obligations, okay? Very good, okay, you, you, you're right, okay, Ricardo, thank you very much. What else, guys? What else do we have? What other model verbs do we know? What other model verbs do you know about? Is there, are there any other modern verbs that we are aware of? No? All right, that's okay, guys, okay. All right. When, uh, oh, yeah, Jenny, go ahead. When you use have, is in position. I don't remember that. Okay, when you use had? Ha, ha, have. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. is, okay. It is all right, very good. Thank you. Um, do you think that have is a model verb, guys? Is had is, is have a model verb? What do you think? All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, that's fine, guys. Okay. So I'm gonna teach you model verbs. Okay, you're gonna learn how to use model verbs, and um, so that's the objective for today. Okay, model verbs, and we're gonna have some practice. All right. 
So uh, by the end of the lesson, guys, you will be able to use Motorverse and to talk about their meaning, okay? This is gonna be easier, guys, than getting your your thirty dollars off the the Chivo app. <laughs> very good. All right, very good, guys. So, uh, motor verbs, okay? So usually, guys, we we have actually multiple motor verbs. The platform don't uh, doesn't focus on all of them, okay? And um, but I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go over most of them, all right? But, but in general, guys, motor verbs can show if an event is, is what? If an event is what, guys? Likely to happen or not. Do you know what likely means, guys? Do you know what that means? Do you know what likely means? No? No. Or say... Possibility. Uh, this may. likely is a synonym. Yes, yes, Ricardo. It's a synonym for possible, right? It's possible, All right? So it's possible to happen or not. Okay, very good. Well, possible or possible. Um, what else, guys? What else do we use them for? What do we use them for? Possible or impossible. All right, for possible or impossible things, okay, right? I skipped this over, all right? For possible or impossible things, what else? If something is compulsory or not, uh, if something is necessary or not, advisable, you know, we use it for advices, we use it for recommendations, to, to uh, for prohibition, you know, to forbid things or to allow things, okay, all right? Have you ever heard the phrase, guys? Well, do you think, guys, in your opinion, guys, um, do you, do you, do you, um, do you rather ask for permission or say, I'm sorry? Ask for permission. Ask for permission, really? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, very good. I'm not. I'm not that type of guy. I prefer to say I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, you're right. Good girls. All right. So yes, guys. Okay, right. So we can use models to ask for permission, right? And we can say, you know, we we might also do it uh, indirectly, which would be like, you know, asking for permission as well, right? Now, model verb, guys. All right. What do we use them for? Uh, David, help me read, David. We use modal verbs to express jud judgment or to adopt a particular point of view towards a certain situation, event or action. Event or action, okay? Event what you action. said was very wrong, okay? <laughs> it sounded like this is something else. All right. Uh, all right, guys. So event or action, okay? All right. So, so guys, all right. So, what does this mean, guys? Okay. In other words, guys, okay. Um, modal verb is an auxiliary, okay? All right. All right. That modifies, and I want you to remember this: modifies the verb, okay? It modifies the verb, okay? A modal verb is an auxiliary that modifies the verb, right? To modify the verb, like this, okay? All right, to modify the verb, guys, the verb, to modify the verb, Right. It needs to be in base form, okay? Remember this, guys, okay? All right, it needs to be in base form, guys, all right? So to modify the verb, guys, the verb needs to be in base form, all right? Now, it's very important to remember that, and the reason why I'm, I'm pointing that out is because that is the most common mistake we run across when we are talking about modal verbs. 
right? Es el, el error más básico, guys, cuando estamos hablando de, cuando estamos usando Motorverse, ¿ok? El error más básico que tenemos como hispanohablantes es modificar un verbo que no está en base, en, voz, en forma base, right? So that's the most common mistake that, that we come across. All right, so enough about that. All right, guys, so, all right, so we used it to talk about possibility, obligation, prohibition, right, everything that we said before, okay? Now, let me give you an example, and you guys give me example next, okay? So for possibility, guys, all right, give me, um, I don't know, Jenny, give me the name of an actor that you like a lot. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Okay, she's an actress, but okay. All right, so Sandra Bullock. If you remember her, uh, isn't she the girl from Pretty Woman? Yes, Julia Roberts. Yes. Oh, no, then that's Julia Roberts. Okay, I thought it was. No, okay, so I got confused. No, okay, so Sandra, okay. So Sandra Bullock, Sandra B. Okay, that's going to be my name, all right? So Sandra B, guys, okay. Sandra B, possibility, right? What what can we use about, uh, what can we use to talk about possibility? Let's say Sandra Sandra B. Do you like Sandra Bullock, David? Um, so, so. Okay, Sandra Bullock, my, well, you said so, so. So, my kiss, David, all right? <laughs> now. Here, guys, okay, I'm talk we're talking about a possibility, right? Which is very, almost impossible, guys, because honestly, we're never going to get that chance, right? <laughs> uh, so, all right, very good. Guys, where do I have the model verb here? My. My, okay, this is the model verb. Uh -huh. Remember, guys, what does the model verb do, guys? What, what, what was my definition, guys? What is the definition that I gave you? What modify does it modify? The, the verb. It modifies the verb, okay? So for example, guys, all right? Basically, this can work, you know, the sentence can work without this, you know? See, you can still say this, right? You will need to change this to kisses, right? All right? Sandra Bullo kisses David, right? Got it? You will need to change the, the verb, guys, but this is basically, guys, this is the modifier, okay? All right? O sea que una oración puede existir sin esto, guys, pero cambia el significado totalmente, ¿ok? When you use a modal verb, cuando usas un modal verb, what you're doing there, lo que estás haciendo ahí, right, um, is modifying the main verb. Estás modificando el verbo principal del que estás hablando. Got it? Yes. All right. Very good. So, David, uh, um, Tell me something that your mom, all right, or 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 maybe your wife now, I don't know, <laughs> or girlfriend, I don't know, um, makes you do or made you do in the past. Made with me? No, all right. What I'm asking is, all right, tell me something that either your mom, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, right, makes you, obligates you, okay? Uh, Demands uh... of you. Uh, do my bed, my mom. Okay, your mom, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so you can say, guys, all right, <clears throat> you can say David must, mm -hmm. right, do his bed. Is it do his bed, guys, or make his bed? Let's say clean his bed, right? All right, or tidy, let's use tidy. Tidy his room in general, okay? All right, we're good. Notice, guys, can, can I say this, guys? Can I say David tidies his room? Can I say this? Would this yes. be correct? Yes, I can say that, okay? So it's possible for us to say that. Es posible nosotros decir esto, right? But now, okay, right, I'm gonna step in for a moment, okay? So here comes la surpadora, right? La surpadora is must, okay? All right? And must, guys, okay, is gonna modify the relationship of the whole sentence, okay? Now, all right, now the, the sentence changed, okay? And now this is an obligation. 
See, must. Okay, he must tidy his room because otherwise his mom will grab a belt and and you know and uh, and then uh, hit him. All right. <laughs> so um, very good. Um, let's see. Rafael Garcia. Hi, Rafael. Oh. Hi, Rafael. What about uh, prohibition? Okay, tell me something that you are not allowed to do. And tell me by whom. Um, the police don't... I, I don't allow to ride fast. To drive fast. Fast. Okay, so you can say that police, right? That police, police want, right? Will not, will not, or want, right? Will not allow Rafael to drive fast. See? So now this is an example of what, guys? This is an example of? Permission. Prohibition, guys. Prohibition, okay? How do we say it? Prohibition. Prohibition, okay. Prohibition. All right, very good. All right, let's have another example, okay? Um, let's see. Ricardo, all right, Ricardo. Tell me something that you need. Okay, I need... A new battery for my smartwatch. You need a new battery for smartwatches, okay? All right. So, what model do you think that I can that I can use here, guys? So, all right. You can use, guys. Okay. Need to. Okay. I. Right, need to, I right, need to. Now, notice guys that I you need to use need to here because you can say, I need a smart watch, right? But let me ask you something. If I say I need a smart watch, guys, what is the function of a motor verb, guys? What does it modify? Que modifica un motor verb, guys? Que dijimos que modifica un motor verb? A verb. It modifies a verb, right? Where is the verb that I'm that I'm modifying here? Donde está el verbo que estoy modificando aquí? It's in a verb. This is a verb. Exactly. No. So, is this a motor verb? Is this a motor verb? Yes or no? No. No, it's not. Okay. However, can I can I turn it into a motor verb? Puedo convertirlo en un motor verb? What do you think? What do you think, guys? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, how do I how do I turn it into a motor verb? Add to in the Yes, needs to I forgot your example, man. What was it? What do you need? A million dollars, right? We all need a million dollars, right? Ricardo needs to is this correct? A million dollars? Is that it guys? <laughs> what do you think? Is that correct? No. Okay, no. All right. Um, yes, no, why? Okay, if your answer is yes, tell me why. If your answer is no, tell me why. I think that no, because needs is only a verb. It's only a verb. It's, it's no modify, modify nothing. Because say Ricardo needs million cars, house, anyone, but always Ricardo needs. Okay, all right. So you're saying it's not a motor verb, even if we cannot use need as a motor verb. Okay. I think that's, Let's that's discuss, very... guys. Let's discuss, guys. Can I use need to, need to as a motor verb, yes or no? Need to is a, it's a model verb, but in the case, the card needs to a million dollars is not 
correct because uh, need a, a verb to to modify. Uh, modify. Applause uh, for Ingrid. <laughs> All right, applause for Ingrid, guys. Thank you. I'm sorry, Ingrid. I thought that you finished talking. Yes, guys, you need a verb, okay? You need a verb after two, okay? So Ricardo needs to what? How can I associate a million dollars, okay? Ricardo needs to obtain a million dollars. All right, to obtain, you can say obtain or to get, right? To get would sound uh, more natural. To get a million dollars, okay? So here, guys, need to is modifying the verb get, got it? Does that make sense? Okay. See, so you can use it for necessity, guys. Okay. All right. For ability. All right. What model comes to your mind, guys, when you talk about ability? Right. When you you think that you are. Ken. All right. Son, you know what, right? <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, oh, that David, you said something, right? You can use can, okay, all right? Very good. So I'm gonna say, I can cook. See, simple as that, right? So see you guys, I can erase it and I still have a sentence, I cook, right? Got it? I cook, okay, I cook. Maybe, you know, that means that you're cooking at that moment, right? But you can say, I can cook, which means, hey, I have the ability of cooking. Tengo la habilidad de cocinar. Right? All right. I cook and we can add a compliment, okay? All right? See? I cook my channel every day. See? So I'm a I'm a good cook. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? Okay, very good. Now permission, guys. What can we use for permission? Notice guys that these are not the only Motor verbs that, that we can use. We can use a lot of other motor verbs, guys, okay? For obligation, you can use oughta, for example, right? Uh, for prohibition, all right, you can also say, I, he, he, well, I, I'm gonna give you an example on that later, okay? For ability, you can say, I could, you know, I could cook my chan every day, right? All right, uh, for possibility, that would be for possibility, all right? Uh, for permission, guys, what do you think? We can use m multiple, um, motor verbs for, for permission. What do you think? May. Okay, may, very good, okay? You can use may, you can use may, you can use might, you can use uh, could, you can use can, right? All right, but the simplest one, right, can. Can what, guys? Can I, can I, can you, can, I? can, can he? Can he cook? Maruchan as good as me, right? Or this uh, as well as me or as amazing, uh, as amazingly as I, as I do, okay? Very good. So see, can you cook Maruchan as amazingly? Well, now, if, if this is asking a question, guys, this is not asking for permission. So there's something wrong there, here, right? If I say, guys, if I want to ask for permission, guys, is this correct, guys? Would this be permission? Can I cook? Can he cook? What about, can no, I it's, go it's to possibility. the, can I go to the restroom? Okay, can I go to the restroom? Now, what about now? Permission? Yes. 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 Permission, right? Very good. You can say, guys, could. If you want to be more formal, you can use could, right? More formal. All right. Could I go to the restroom, right? Willingness, guys. Okay. Willingness. Do you know what the word willingness means? No. Thank you. Willingness. Voluntad. No. Okay. Voluntad. Okay. All right. So, what model verbs do you think that we can use for willingness? You know, the willingness of doing something. What do you think? Would, would maybe. Would? Uh-huh. Okay. No. I can, maybe. Okay, all right, I can. Yeah, okay, you can use can, right? Yeah, I can do that. 
you can say, yeah, I can't do that. Okay. If you're offering your help, right? Yes. Uh, hey, can can uh, can anybody here help me with English? Yeah, I can do that, right? I uh, I have the willingness of doing that. All right. Very good, guys. So, any questions so far? Let me do a QA check real quick, guys. Uh, Giovanni Palacios, okay. What do we use a modal verb for? Para qué se usa modal verb? For modify a verb in to modify to modify to modify a verb in base form. Yes, okay, in base form. Guys, what if I'm talking in the past? Can I use models in the past? Yes. Can I, yes, I can use models in the past. Can I use models in the future? Yes. Yes, I can, right? Very good. So now notice, guys, that a model verb substitute an, uh, an auxiliary, okay? All right. So, for example, guys, remember that usually, guys, an auxiliary, you know, is like do, right? Right? If I say, guys, I like movies, how would you ask me a question? How would you ask the question, guys? I like I like movies. Okay, how do you how would you turn this into a question? Do you like movies? Right? Do you right? Do you like movies? Okay, right? The auxiliary is do. Okay. Now, however, guys, when you talk about models, okay, the models are the auxiliaries. So, for example, Sandra might kiss David. Okay, how would you turn that into a question? Do you say? Uh, do Sandra my kiss David? Is that is that right, guys? Can I say this? Do Sandra I my kiss David? Is this correct? No. Nope. Yes. No. No. Maria Belendi says yes. Why is that correct? First of all, because Sandra will never kiss David, right? No, I'm kidding. All right, no. Uh, <laughs> Sandra yeah, la del right? <laughs> I know. Uh, why is this correct, guys? Sandra, may Sandra kiss David. Yes, guys, okay, all right. Guys, remember, this works as the auxiliary, okay? So you cannot have another auxiliary if you already have an auxiliary, okay? So the right answer for these guys would be what? How would you turn that into a question? Might what? Might Sandra kiss David. Kiss David, okay. Very good, got it? Very good, okay. Now, another common mistake, guys, okay? All right. The past, okay. Guys, uh, can I say, could, let's see this, okay. He could spoke, spoke, okay. He could spoke to her. Is this correct? Yes, no, why? Uh, because you no. need to be very in the base form. All right, very good, model. guys. Even if you talk in the past, all right, even if you talk in the past, guys, all right, um, you still need to talk in the past, okay? All right. So, I mean, you still need to talk with the verb in base form, not in the past form, okay? In base form, all right? So, um, so now, guys, now that you know that, okay, let's move on a little bit, okay? All right, now that. All right, do me a favor, guys. Uh, if you need, guys, take a screenshot, okay? But I want, guys, each of you to send me uh, to send me five examples, okay? You're gonna work in pairs. I want five examples in any tense, guys, okay? All right? Doesn't matter. No importa que tiempo gramatical lo hagas. Five examples of possibility, all right? I need five examples of obligation, okay? You can use the models that I gave you, okay? And I want five examples in your notebook, guys, of ability, all right? And I want five examples 
affirmation, okay? Got it? All right. So everybody, you and pair guys, okay? Esto va a ser en pareja, right? Puede, o sea, en pareja, las parejas tienen que tener 20 ejemplos, right? Got it? So, see, and if, if, if Maria, Belen, you know, and David are a couple, they both need to have the same answers and they both need to be 20. Yes? Got it? All right. Very good, guys. Very good, okay? All right. Um, I took a screenshot, guys, so, so I can send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Any question, guys, before we start? We're good? All yep. right, let's go. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Jenny. I always forget that you have two devices, Jenny. So sorry. <laughs> All right, you're good. Okay. Three, you drop. We are three. Okay. Go to make the sentences. We need five examples of Possibilities, okay. <clears throat> Possibilities, um, example. Okay. Someone have an example from possibilities? I can I can say she must uh, concentrate. It's obligation, no. Uh, just you can do it. Okay. But it's your person. I can't remember if you need to. To put that else there. Okay. Any questions, guys? You good? Yes. All right. Get the food. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And Santiago could get the food. Okay. Oh, just for okay. Um, 
Baby My Baby My My End the class early Okay. No. 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 It's not possible. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll end the class early. If you speak, if you, everyone speaks with perfect English. <laughs> Good job, man. Possibility? He may play video games tomorrow. He may play video games tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And next. Okay. And. Carla, Carla, me, please. Me? His room. Uh, uh, Carla, me, please. His, uh, her room. Her room? Tomorrow. Or oh, Carla no, may no. clean her room on weekend. Sleep. On weekend. Carla may clean her room. We, we have four. Okay. Um, Mario might finish his race. John could head many cars. Yeah. It could be raining today. Um, this is my favorite. Melin might shake her microphone before. Um, Melin, Melin might shake microphone. her microphone before because, because I can hear you. Okay. Melin. Okay, um, dun, 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 another we need twenty sentences. Okay, we have four, fifth. Um, you might play uh, better next week. How are you doing, guys? Teacher. Tell me. The code is for past and present. You mean good and not cold? Cold, sorry. Good. No, cold, good is for a possibility in the future and also in the present. And um, if you're gonna ask a question, right? I try to use for permission. You're trying, okay? So it's for in the present. Could I do it? It's in the present. Okay. Or. Uh, before his dinner. Before his dinner. Okay. Uh -huh. 
minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Have two. Have two, uh huh. Yeah. Uh, Ricardo, have to improve his uh, grammar. Improve. Improve, uh huh. Improve. His grammar. grammar. Now, ability. Uh -huh. Ability. Yeah. Ability. Uh, can cool and be able to. Cool. I can. Sing very well. What? I can sing very well. <laughs> okay. You can you can or you can't? I can. I I I can. I do really? well. <laughs> oh, okay. That's nice. Okay, my one day you might I might make everybody sing here in the class. <laughs> uh huh. The, the second one, we we uh, ability. Uh, do you have any questions, guys? Uh, no. Good. Very good. Any questions, guys? Excuse me? We're, we're, we're stopping here with the obligation sentences. Uh, obligations. You have questions regarding obligations. Uh, uh, just looking for the verb, so for to construct construction the the sentences, but I think that uh, they're gone. Do you think that what? I'm sorry. It's not in my mind. <laughs> oh, you think you're th you're trying to think about the sentence, but but um, you don't know what to say. Uh, uh for example for obligations uh you have to put the you have to put the trash no yes you have or you get to put the trash in the in the basket now i like i like that example because you you can say you have to or you can say you must Right you now, when you use you must, you don't say to. You must plus, right? Okay. You, you have must. to, you must, or you oughta, right? You can also you oughta. You you should. Ought to. Now, you should, must. should is not obligation. Should. should, should, no, should. That's what you read. Should, not show. Should. Repeat. Okay. Should. Giovanni? Should. Right. Should. Should is with used the, for. The. Yes, yes, I know. Should. Should. Yep. Okay. All right. So should is used for advice, right? Oh, you should go to the doctor. Oh, my head mm -hmm. hurts. Right. What What do I do? What should I do, Giovanni, if on my head hurts? Okay. You if, my head, if my head hurts, what should I do? Okay. Go, 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 go to it, it, the doctor. Uh, you should go to the doctor, right? So you're giving me an advice. Me está dando consejo. So should is used not, to talk about not advice. obligation. Exactly. Okay. If I say I get the put over there, I get, uh, I get, I get put over there. I, I, I'm sorry, what? I'm not understanding that. I, I get, I get, I get, I get uh, put away uh, in the basket. I got to I have to put it there. You're saying I have to put it there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, you're using have to as a model for uh have to. Have, have to. Have to. Have yes. to. Okay, have to. Yes. O yes or right. must only you must put must. or you can use must, right? 
Must. Okay. Another must. model verb. Uh, for Another what? Model verb for obligation. Only must have to. You use ought no to. More. Yes, you have ought to. But people don't say ought to, you know. People don't usually do that. Use the you ought to do that. People would say you ought to. You ought to do that. All right. Okay. Great. Okay. Um. Uh... All right, guys. So, what do we have? What examples do we have so far? Do we have any examples? Yes. Okay. Tell me. Tell me, Maria Belen. Mm -hmm. Give me okay. one for obligation. Okay. Obligation. Yes. Uh, you, you must brush your teeth. You must brush your teeth. Very good. All right. Ricardo, give me one for possibility. Possibility. Uh, and the word possibility. <laughs> Okay, Ricardo, give me one for possibility. Possibility, um, he may to dance in classroom today. He may dance in the classroom today, okay. All right, very good. All right, that's good. Good job, guys. We're gonna go back now. Finish them, guys, because tomorrow I'm gonna ask you, okay? You are mute. You are mute. Oh, my, my the teacher. All right. Anyways, so um, I right, so so guys. All right. So today, guys, we learned the usage of uh, model verbs, right? So that's that's the first thing we learned. Uh, what do we use it for, Ingrid? Uh, yes, um, to modify the verb. Very good, okay, what, okay, very good. What type of things, okay, we, we use it for, we use, we use model verbs specifically to talk about what? Um, Giovanni? You, you are muted, mal de teacher también. Uh, you talk to possibilities to talk about to talk about, about possibility what else um prohibition prohibition all right very good what else um very good uh jenny let's help him what else jenny thank you giovanni okay abilities abilities okay very good and permission obliga obligation Permission, obligation, what else? Possibility and prohibition. Prohibition. <laughs> prohibition. Prohi, prohibition, right? Pro prohibition. Prohibition. <laughs> prohibition. There you go. Yes, Maylin. Maylin says I'm, willingness. Um, All right. I very good, okay. All right, very good. Uh, what type of model do you forgot requests, right? What type of model do I use? What type of model verbs do I use for uh, requests, uh, Maria? For request. Yes, for uh, request. Now, what, what do we use? Possibility. No, what, what model verb do I do I use for uh, requests? Um, uh, my must. Okay, we use might and we use must, okay? Very good, might and must. Uh, is that for possibility, guys? I mean, for, for permission, I'm sorry. Is that for permission? Can. Might is, right? I mean, that would be extremely formal, but can, right? Can, can I go to the bathroom, right? All right, so permission, guys, okay? Very good, guys, all right? 
super super good job okay um from one to ten guys from from uh you know clear vodka to horchata all right how much do you feel that you understood cuánto creen cuánto se consideran que entendieron for me what's the vodka was good like whiskey like whiskey okay <laughs> all right all right ponele ponele uh, vodka um tequila and then you know horchata <laughs> down below right the other way around <laughs> all right so whiskey is okay right <laughs> all right guys anyway so tomorrow guys we're gonna talk uh we're gonna continue with models but this time around guys we're gonna talk about real-time scenarios for um um to use models okay there there are other ways we can use models models um the, that um that can also be combined with adverbs okay so tomorrow we're going to talk about how we can use these to talk about possibilities you know with adverbs as well okay got it all right very good guys so anyways uh thanks a lot guys do you have any questions no questions whatsoever all right no. i hope it rains tonight because i'm really sleepy <laughs> But uh, thank, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for coming every day and um, enjoy the rest of your night. Bye bye, guys. Take care. See you later. Bye. Bye. bye, -bye. Guys. See you. Have a nice.